Quite a while. Ooh, Doe Flamingo. Interesting. Okay. Um, he chose to go first. Uh, I am going to mulligan. Wow. Okay. Should have kept my hand. <laughs> 10 drop is good. It kind of helps in this matchup, but boy, that is rough. That was a rough start right there, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Alright, we're definitely going to have to just pummel out every single uh, every single thing that he ends up putting down here. So, Because he's definitely going to go two onto leader and use leader ability. So I'll take the life, but it depends on what he puts down. Um, well, no, I will take the life no matter what. Huh. Okay. I did not expect that. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I did not did not expect that. <laughs> that caught me off guard a little bit. Um. Wow. All right. This is a interesting predicament that we found ourselves in. <clears throat> so let's do seven. Okay. And I am going to put down Tashigi. Just want to have a body on board. He's going to go up to 5 Dawn here. I'm shocked that he didn't use leader ability there, but now he is. Okay. And he's not going to use leader. Another 10 drop Kuzan? I only run three of these. Oh my gosh. What is happening? <laughs> All right, well. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I mean, sometimes, sometimes that's just the, the heart of the cards right there speaking to you. Um, hmm. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to swing for five, see what he does. See if he counters out or if he takes a life. If he blocks, that'd be really interesting, but, um, yep. All right, I about expected that. And then I'm going to use Tashigi's ability. We will Meteor Volcano the Doe Flamingo and put down Borsalino. Yep. But that's where we're at six dawn, so only two more turns, and then I can get all these Kuzans to do something. But uh, the Kobe, I'm trying to save. I'm trying to keep that in hand as much as possible. Um, hopefully, he swings at Tashigi here. He is going to bring down the Mihawk. Yep, he is going to swing at the Tashigi. I am totally fine with that. Thank you. I'll let the Tashigi go. Uh, otherwise, I would have had to take another life. Um, I'm not trying to let the Borsalino die just yet. So, <clears throat> interesting. Let's get in the cards at the top of the deck. I really want to get rid of the Mihawk. The, uh, just the ability for him to be able to just cycle out his hand is... Wow, this is <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> okay, I, I sometimes you just get unlucky with the card draw, and my God, did we get unlucky! All right, um, let's let's think about how we want to do this. Let's go. Kobe trash, but I'm trying to get value out of this, so maybe I can get a 2K counter. Or I can get him to use the blocker here, is the idea. So 2k counter, beautiful. He trashes a Mihawk, I'm good with that. We'll put down Kobe, get rid of one of the Kuzans. And I think I'll just pass turn here. Just because I know that he might swing with the Perona. There's also the possibility that he'll put down 9-drop Mihawk here and bottom deck my Borsalino. Not a great feeling, but at the end of the day, see, now he's swinging five here. I am going to impact wave this just because he is saving uh, his nine dawn. So it looks like the Mihawk is going to come out. Yep. And I am going to swing five. Hopefully he takes. He might counter. All right. So he's, he is going to counter. He put down Teach. He put down Teach. I'm not terribly upset about that but I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and put down Kuzan 
at my end turn. I could have gotten rid of the Perona. Actually, you know what? In hindsight, it might have been better to get rid of the Perona here, just so that he doesn't have the extra swing. With Kuzan on the board, pretty much it guarantees me having something that's less than, uh, you know, let, or gets close to zero cost for my leader ability. Um, but, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we'll slap down Kuzan again uh, this upcoming turn to take care of the Mihawk. But I'm interested to see what he does here. You know, because he's, he's most likely going to swing with leader and Mihawk. But if he swings with Perona as well, that's a bit of a, a bit of a nuisance. A lot of blockers getting onto the field. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, I kind of want to take this, but I probably should counter out because I can't. Dang. All right. Yeah. I will counter out uh, since I can't take the, the Mihawk swing. If he doesn't swing with Mihawk. All right. Good. All right. <laughs> I was going to be a little upset, but. Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. So I think the play here is to swing at the Mihawk, bait out a counter, potentially a blocker. Beautiful. Got rid of one of the blockers. And we'll go ahead and play the second Kuzan and just get rid of uh, the um, Dracula Mihawk. I maybe should have swung with leader first, not a huge deal, but um, it does give him more of an idea of what he's looking at and what he's playing up against, but he is going to love, love beam there, draws a card, okay, and yeah, we're just going to pass turn, so don't feel great with two life left and no dawn to be able to use impact wave, but as long as I'm able to just take one damage here this turn uh just take one life i should be fine but we're getting very close to the winning moment per se mm, this is a tough call because if he swings with bartholomew i'm gonna feel really bad so i probably should counter out um yeah i'll go ahead and counter out of that he's gonna put down crocodile interesting Okay, blue event cards cost one less to play. Does that mean he has Deathwink? Hmm, it's actually really interesting. Does he have Deathwink? Now, I I should Meteor Volcano this just so that he doesn't get uh, the value of the card first. Like that's pretty important. Um, and I'm thinking that we just go Something like this, so I want to save, let's do three, two. Right, so I need to have two left, which means I got five to work with. So I am going to go, you know what? No, we're going to go one with Kobe, swing for five. I would imagine he'll counter out of this, but we'll see. Okay, he is going to take, I'm going to go eight at life <clears throat> he is gonna love love beam okay draws the card i'll go 10 and yeah i'm just gonna go 10 again i'm just gonna be really aggressive like as aggressive as possible i'll put down the smoker and i'll end turn so the impact wave should be very valuable very very valuable it it might bait him into dealing with uh, dealing with one of the 10 drops, like trying to just slap all, all the Dawn he has under Doflamingo and just hoping for the best. That would be very interesting. But yeah, just kind of had to play this, you know, as smart as possible. I mean, realistically, with the starting hand we had, it was kind of a rough start. But once we have the 10 drops down, kind of changes up the whole dynamic of the matchup. Um, I think that he, I don't know, I personally think that he could have done a lot better by bringing out, since he had so many like Peronas and Doflamingos, he could have brought out so many. Uh, interesting. He's going to swing for five here. I 
kind of want to bait this. I think I am going to. I'm going to try and bait this. Um, hmm. Trying to get rid of the Kobe here. It's not what I was expecting, but okay. I can't use Impact Wave because Impact Wave doesn't kill Bartholomew. It's only uh, KO3 or less if they're active. And he's going to Gecko Moria drawing Dracul Mihawk for a 2k counter. We pick up another impact wave though, so not bad. Um, I do think that we just have the win here. Like pretty certain that we just swing with everything we have and we just have the win. Uh, yeah, he's got one blocker, probably another love love beam, maybe a death wink in hand. Um, he could have gum gum rain, but Realistically, with all of that, I still feel very comfortable in potentially taking the dub. So he's going to counter out Alvita and Marshall D. Teach. Smoker's up to six right now. Let's bring him. Let's bring him to nine. If we go nine, yeah, I like this. Let's go nine with Smoker at life. And then we go 9 with leader, and then I'll have a 10 and an 11. There's like little to no shot that he's able to counter out of that. Okay, so he's going to go up to 10 here. I'll go 9 at life. Probably use the blocker. So since he used the 2 dawn on love love beam, that means he doesn't have death wink. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any way he can win this. We should be pretty good. Unless there's like some crazy trigger that I'm forgetting about. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think so. Yeah, so we'll just swing for 10. Ooh, you know what? Ah, uh, GG. GG. You know what would have been very interesting was if he was able to counter out of that somehow and I didn't save 2 Dawn for Impact Wave? That might have been a blunder on my part. Potentially might have been a blunder but I did I just didn't see him being able to he would have had to have a perfect hand to counter out of the 10k but you know it is what it is we'll take the dub here and uh yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed the match I think that the Don Quixote do Flamingo deck has a lot of like scary potential I've played against some some dopies that have been absolutely insane but I still feel like this smoker deck just completely counters out so many of the blue slash like green matchup um, sometimes red green can be difficult depending on how bad you draw <laughs> but I really do feel comfortable against a lot of these blue decks now um, with just how much board control black has so Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.